Right, so we're going to look at multiplying fractions this time. So you remember that adding fractions, we need the same denominator. All right, but let's have a look at something like one half times one third. Right, so I could just tell you how to do it, but let's have a go at trying to understand um, what we need to do. So. This fraction, a half, is quite a nice one to talk about because you'll understand what we mean, right? So, another way of saying a half times a third is by saying a half of a third. So, a half times a cake is half of a cake. So, so the word, so the symbol times means of, right? So, we've got half of a third, right? So, what that means is that if we have a cake, right, start with a cake, and I roughly split this cake into thirds, right, so each section is one third, well what that means is I'm now going to take only one of those thirds. That's all I've got as a cake. And then to say half of the cake, what do I need to do? Um, split it in half. So take my third and I split it in half. Like this, I cut it. Right, my question then is, if I take half of a third, let's say I take this piece, right, I cut it, so I've got, I cut a cake into three pieces, and then I, it's like, let's say you three were sharing a cake, so you have a third each, and then you go, well, I'm going to eat half now and half later, so how much of the cake do you actually eat? Uh, would that be one sixth? This would be one sixth. Really? Are you happy with mm -hmm. that? Yeah? Okay, so here's the thing, so one half times one third is one sixth. One sixth. Now, what do you notice? Do you think there's a quicker way of doing it? Um, what do you reckon, Jaina? Yes, um, two times three. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking two times one. three and. And one times one. One times one. Okay, so it works. Now, when we do multiplying fractions, it it's different. Have to do it exactly, there. and you know when we added fractions, the first thing I think first one of you said. I'll add the tops and add the bottoms, where you're not allowed to do that. And we talked about why that doesn't work by putting pieces of cake together. But it's, it's multiplying is much easier because you can just multiply the top numbers and multiply the bottoms. Okay. So just to um, check, let's do another question. So let's have a look at... Um, so... Four fifths times a half. Four fifths times a half. So I'm going to draw another cake. Just roughly visualize it. Okay, there's a cake. And I'm going to cut it into. So this is saying, just show it the other way Four fifths of a half. So I'm actually going to do it the other way around. I'm actually going to start by splitting my cake into halves just check it works both ways so there's a rough cut so there's a there's a half and there's another half so what would i do with my half i have to chop it into how many pieces Jay? five five so i'm going to try and, and chop this so one two uh three four five okay so i'm just going to do that Oh, it's uh, not done so well. Okay. So what do I end up with? So let me try and draw it up and say, there you go. So I've got that. So I've got my half a cake. I've split my half into five pieces. Okay. Now the question is though, if I t how many of those pieces am I allowed? Uh, four. Four. So I'm doing 
four fifths of a half. I'm ignoring that other half, it doesn't even exist. I'm taking four fifths of the half that I took in the first place. Now the question is, what is that though as a fraction of the whole cake that I started with? Yeah, perfect. Four out of what would have been ten pieces. So the question is, does it work again? Can I multiply the top and the bottoms? Uh, yes. Yeah, it has worked. Okay. So four times one, five times two. No problem whatsoever. You just... Now, let's try and do one a little bit difficult. So let's try two thirds times um, two thirds. So what's your prediction? What do you think it's going to be? Well, obviously four uh, six, four but it's not going to be yeah. that because you said five. Sorry, no, it's four not. Six. But you, it's obviously not why four six? Because what do you think? Two nights, two nights and you think four six. Are you sure? So what? No, what, I said I, it's not going to be. Well, what would what did we do six. here? We we multiplied the top, which would give you four. four, and we should multiply the bottom, which would give you nine. Nine. I know nine. what it's going to be. So do we think, right, we're predicting it's four gonna nights. It's going to think, oh, you think, well, I see that, right, okay, because they're the same, you think it's going to be one. Well, let's have a look. Two thirds, the multiply means of. So two thirds of two thirds. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to chop my cake into thirds, all right? How much of that am I allowed? Um, two. two, right? So I'm allowed two thirds of two thirds. So to start with, I'm going to make sure that I only take the two thirds that I'm allowed anyway. Okay, so there is the two thirds. So if I actually had a cake, I would then go, well, if I'm only allowed two thirds of two thirds, okay, that's how much cake I'm allowed. Right. Now, to do two-thirds of two-thirds, I've got to split my two-thirds into how many pieces? Um, two. No, three. Three. Two-thirds of two-thirds. So I've got to split into three, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, roughly... Donut. What do you reckon? No, no, you split from three. No, you do the pieces you shaded in into three pieces. Yeah, I've done that, haven't I? No. There, like there, in each there. section that you shaded in. Okay, so you want me to split that into three pieces yes. on its own? Okay, right. That will probably be easy. So I've got there and there. And then you want to split this one into, okay. So now what do I do? So I'm allowed to take two thirds of two thirds. So does oh, that mean I have to take? I know, I know what it's going to I can't colour that in. Right, I'm going to do, right, let's colour in. So I'm going to take two thirds. So that means if I take... Of the first third, I'm going to take two thirds. And then of the second third, I'm going to take two thirds. Okay. Happy? Done that? I've taken two thirds of two thirds. Make sense? So you said split it into each one into thirds. So now here's the question then. What have I ended up with out of the whole thing? So, one. how many pieces? One. Four. One, two, three, four is what I've taken. 
And how many pieces would the cake have been split into if I used the whole thing? Nine, because I've got three pieces here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And this piece would also have been split into three. So actually, I now have four out of nine. So we are right. So that means that when I multiply fractions, all I need to do is multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms, and it's done. Okay. Easy then, eh? It's nice and easy. Multiplying fractions is really easy.